I really enjoy people. I enjoy learning about people. Um, again, that's something that's very satisfying for me to hear someone else's story, to go somewhere that most people don't get to go, to be invited into people's private spaces um, and to be witness to that and then get to have a part in sharing that story is just something that's very natural for me. Um, so I was a middle school student. Um, I'm pretty sure it was seventh grade, could have been eighth grade, living in Ames, Iowa. Um, and there was some sort of an after school program that existed. And it wasn't actually housed at the school, it was housed somewhere downtown. Um, but they made available uh, Pentax K1000 cameras, uh, Tri-X film, 400. Um, and they had a wet dark room, a small wet dark room. And so a friend and I, got involved with it somehow, I don't even know how, um, and just started going out to photograph. I, my feeling is one of the roles of photography in our society is, especially in the modern day, the present day, is that it is really reflecting society. Um, given the presence of digital photography in particular, um, and the existence of cameras everywhere and by everyone, um, the, you know, the Facebook, the Instagram, the Twitter, all of that digital media is allowing people um, an opportunity to share a lot more visually of themselves than they've had the ability to in the past. So last June, I had an assignment with Minnesota Public Radio that took me to 11 communities in rural Minnesota. Um, and my primary task was to photograph buildings um, and people impacted by buildings that were in um, various states, if you will. So looking at buildings that have um, been sitting and unused, looking at buildings that are um, historic in nature and have been completely rehabbed, so running the gamut. And as part of this, I spent a lot of time in spaces where most people don't get to go. They're, they're buildings that are closed up or sections of them are closed off. And so I was allowed to tour them, um, spend some time in them, and I ended up with uh, an enormous array of photographs that, that didn't really speak to the purpose I was there for. Um, but I found myself photographing um, walls and classrooms, chalkboards, um, different objects. And through the course of editing and looking at work for exhibition, um, I realized that there was a thematic connection. There was a literal connection in that they were all Minnesota relics. Um, they were all interior spaces. Um, there were some other commonalities in composition. Um, but I also realized that for me, I often find myself in a place where I see things that other people don't see, or I see them differently. Um, and I've learned that I need to photograph those things. Mm -hmm.